everyone welcome back to another video and this is fantasy girl back in action and we are about to go on to pandemonium so this is going to be the new eight man raid series and all we know for sure is is that it has something to do with la habrea that's all we know so to unlock the first series of quests we have to go back to charlian and we're just outside the baldessian annex and we're going to speak with nemdg here so I, again, I have no idea what's going to happen. I have no idea what any of this is about. And I'm really excited. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. So the crystal from beyond. Nabjiji nods at you as if she was expecting your arrival. Heh <laughs> heh, my calculations were correct. I knew that this very spot I would encounter none other than Claire, the hero who saw us through the final days. So certain was I of my math that I stood here for... Well, let's not concern ourselves with that. I am Nemjiji, assistant to one Professor Clyden. We work with the at telescope to observe the ethereal sea and delve into its meowed mysteries. Some mysteries, though, are beyond even our capabilities to unravel. The strange crystal we but recently discovered, for instance, defies our every conjuncture. So, you've been to the center of the star and far beyond it. However, so we hope that you may see something in this crystal that we academics do not. I beg you to lend us your well-traveled eye at Aporia. Professor Clyden will be eagerly awaiting your arrival. Okay. So, I know this has something to do with Elpis. This has something to do with going back in time to Elpis. Because at the end of the main scenario, we did see that mysterious figure. I mean, he sounds a lot like Elidibus' voice. So, I mean, I can't say 100% that it is him, but it does sound a lot like him. And that might explain that scene earlier when we visited him in the tower to get some answers about the Elpis flower. He kind of seemed to remember us. Like, he says, I remember you in Elpis. So on one hand, I want it to be a little bit. On the other, I'm terrified that it is a little bit. But uh, at, anyway, at the end of the main scenario, we did see that little scene where he's waiting for apparently his shooting star as she foretold. So I have no idea what that's all about. So I, and I was wondering how are we supposed to be? What would be the reason for us to go back to Elpis? Apparently, this is the answer. Okay, so let's see what this crystal thing's about. As I live and breathe, it really is you! I assume Nijimji was simply attempting to pull one over on me, as it were. Perhaps I should pay more heed to her wild claims. Welcome, welcome. We appreciate any insight you can provide on the matter of this crystal. Professor Clyden will share the particulars with you. Greetings, Claire, and welcome to my humble laboratory. I am sure Nemjiji has already told you plenty about us, but allow me to introduce myself personally. I am Claude, leader of this little research collective. I must admit, I have been nervous about this meeting ever since Nemjiji set out to find you. For a researcher in my field, there is no greater an honor than to meet the first woman in history to traverse the ethereal sea and return to tell the tale. The professor speaks often and at length of your deeds, but he has no small number of achievements to his own name. He has peered deeper into the ethereal sea than any other in Charlian, and as breadth his, of his knowledge is peerless. Perhaps, peerless, perhaps, but for a single woman, we must seize this precious opportunity to learn what we can from her, and perhaps craft this conundrum that has stumped the three of us for moons. It was we who peered into the fathomless sea from the anti tower in the Dravanian hinterlands. There we spoke with Heidelin and learned of the fate that would befall the star, the final days. Oh, well, so it was them! Soon thereafter, the, all research was moved to Labyrinthos, and through the, the telescope did we continue our vigil. An impressive a work as the device is, however, it can glimpse but a fraction of the sea's infinite depths. Which brings us to the matter at hand. Not long after the exodus was declared, we recovered an unusual crystal shard during the routine observation. It appeared before us suddenly, as if propelled into the surface by some unknown force.
We found that it possessed an ethereal density that exceeds that of normal crystals by orders of magnitude and its shape resembles nothing which occurs in the natural world. It was made, not formed. Unfortunately, that was the extent of the information we could glean before we were forced to turn our focus towards the Exodus. The crystal was very nearly forgotten amidst the sudden upheaval. But thanks to the efforts of a certain someone, that crisis is now behind us, and we are free to resume our research. Thus did we decide to seek you out, the dauntless adventurer who delved into the unknown and beheld its innermost secrets, and now we would have you see for yourself. So this crystal, what is it? Here's the crystal in question. If it resembles aught you have encountered before, even by the smallest degree, please say so. <laughs> yes! I know it! Oh! Oh, that is so great! Look at that! It came from an ancient, alright. Uh... Well, I know of someone who bears a similar crystal. Yeah, we have the one from Azim. So we could go ahead and show him our crystal. As I thought, you do know what this is. Please, tell me everything. Well, fine, but I don't know what we can tell you. We don't really know how they work. I mean, we can use Azim's power because we were Azim, but that's about it. I see. The Asians use these to transfer their memories to new vessels. Fascinating indeed. It was plain that this crystal was precious, was special somehow, but this revelation surpasses even my considerable expectations. Similar artifacts have appeared throughout the ages. Memories of martial techniques manifested as crystalline shards in the battlefield, or storied stones passed from master to student. The comparison between said artifacts and this crystal may prove a fruitful first step in unrevealing its true nature. What do you think, Professor? I see in memories, windows through which we can gaze upon the Convocation of Fourteen. Unlike the crystal and Claire's story, this one does not bear the mark of a convocation. Who then could these memories belong to? And more importantly, why are they stored in this particular shard? More importantly still, why was it set adrift on the ethereal sea? Yeah, he's not listening to us. I think he's gone. Professor! Professor! Clawden! Huh? Yes? I'm well aware that contemplation is the key to breakthrough, but there is pro priority to consider. We have a guest, one you invited specifically. Must we do this every time? Yes, of course, our guests! Terribly sorry, I do so easily find myself unmoored by the tides of rumination. Perhaps a more uh, engaging use of your time with us would be for you to take up that crystal. If indeed there are memories stored within, they may reveal themselves to you upon contact. Certainly hope so. If anyone, anyone, anyone message, message come, come, come pandemonium, pandemonium please, please. Faces, faces grave threat, grave threat, threat star, 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 in danger. In danger. Uh, of course. <laughs> of course. That expression does not bode well. What do you see? 
basically another threat's coming to the star. Pandemonium? Just not a word I have heard before. If my knowledge of the ancient tongue serves me, it means all demons. Uh, name that inspires optimism, all things considered. In the event that another star-shattering cataclysm is in fact bearing down upon us, I would have the aforementioned examples of crystalline memory at to hand. MDG, Riss and Ennod, I entrust their procurement to you. If there are more memories to be extracted from this crystal, we will find them. As for you, Claire, there is a person I would have you seek. The one who has delivered so dire a warning. Huh? Your story tells us that this crystal could very well have been made by one of the ancients. If that is the case, then discerning the nature of this pandemonium would require a trip into the past, to an era before the Sundering. Wait, how do you know about that? I know of only one individual capable of such a feat, the very hero who traversed time to prevent the world's doom. Oh, is that common knowledge now? Does everyone know that? I must confess, the tales people tell of your adventures be beggar belief, and their versidity have been a subject of much debate among my peers. After today's meeting, however, there can be no doubt in my mind that every incredible exploit is fact. Well, I can't say I blame them. <laughs> They're pretty crazy adventures. So I ask you now, return to the past, find out what and where Pandemonium is, and if we need to be concerned by this message. All right, so let's head back. Thank you. For the time being, you should keep the crystal in your possession. I do not think you have seen the last of its memories, and more may be drawn out as you approach their source. Safe travels, and may we meet again soon to share our findings. I just realized something. They said that they delve into the depths of the ethereal sea and spoke to Hydaelyn, but wasn't that about 200 years ago? From this moment on, our objective shall be to fill every cranny of this place with crystals. Surely the gleaners won't mind braving a few haunted battlefields for the right price. Pray journey to the past and ascertain the severity of the threats. Keep the crystal for now until we can find a way to listen to its messages. It will do more good in your hands than ours. First, for Professor Clyden, I would burn the candle on both ends. Or rather, I will. First, I must find the historical documents he requested. And then, uh, what was I meant to do again? You seem to be a bit forgetful, but that's okay. Let's try here first. Okay, heading off to Elpis. I mean, I didn't think that was common knowledge that she traveled to the past to help find a way to save the world. I mean, the Scions definitely know about that, and... I guess maybe some high-ranking members of the forum might have been informed. I mean, I can see them telling at least Fortuno, but I mean, how common knowledge is this? And I realize I need to go to Norfront, don't I? Fine, fine, we'll go. No, let's just head straight there. Okay, so this is just going to be us unlocking Pandemonium. The next episode's probably going to be the first battle and everything. Here we are, back at the Crystal Tower. Hello, Gatekeep. Welcome, my lady. If you wish to go to the Ocular, I should be glad to escort you. Thank you, but we can manage. I wonder if they're really going to find a way to get back to actually travel to other shards. I mean, I can. I, I, I really want to see Graha go back to visit them and uh, maybe see Lena like freak out at the sight of, wow, you look so young or something like that. Ooh, a cutscene.
When I get excited, I talk a lot. I don't know why. If you receive this message, Come, pandemonium, quickly. What was that? Couldn't have been fun. Oh, I forgot how pretty it is already. <gasps> is this who I think it is? It's him! Oh, he's so pretty. Could it be? No, of course not. Apologies, but for the briefest moment I thought you to be a dear friend of mine. I realize now that such a notion is preposterous. She told me a falling star would appear before me, and I suppose you must be it. Truth be told, I did not expect the expression to be so... literal. She's so cute when she's surprised. Oh, is this really a little bit? I don't know. I mean, it'd be nice to actually have a face, like a real face to him, but... Themis. His name is Themis? Uh, apologies for not introducing myself properly. My name is Themis. As you can see by my bare face, I am not one of Elpes's observers. Rather, I am coming here on an assignment, which has been more or less routine up until this very moment. You certainly do know how to make an entrance. I must wonder what brought you here, for it is plain you do not belong here, or any place I know for that matter. Um, well, I really don't want to say that we're familiar anymore. We'll just say I'm also here on assignment. I hope that's the right one. Hmm. Are you here to investigate pandemonium, perhaps? Perchance. It would not surprise me should we share a purpose. <laughs> if so, we may be able to help one another. But first, might I trouble you to explain how you came to collide with my skull? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> I see. I believe that dispels any major doubts I had concerning your intentions. Apologies for being so intrusive, but you must understand that this is an uncommon occurrence. I shall pry no further, for I am well aware that we all have secrets we must keep. However, if I may, I would very much like to take a look at this crystal of yours. Oh, she looks so sad. Fascinating. 
While I cannot say much as to what it contains, it is clear that there are memories stirring within. Memories that speak of something gravely amiss and pandemonium. This facility extends beneath Elpes and is overseen by the words of Laha Brea. Laha Brea! It houses those creations that are highly valued as research subjects and highly dangerous to the star. Naturally, it is strictly guarded and under constant surveillance. Several days ago, however, an unnatural shift in the flow of its surroundings ether was detected. Soon thereafter, all communications from Pandemonium ceased. I am here as a representative of an organization that works directly with the Convocation, and have been tasked with investigating this incident. Now there is such a measure of transparency between us, may I offer a suggestion as to what we should do next? <laughs> oh, the crystal from beyond. <laughs> okay, so that's unlocking pandemonium, more or less. Just see real quick. During the course of your investigation, you may discover valuable artifacts. These can be exchanged for equipment by speaking with Meilin in Oporia or Daijol in Razadhan. Alright. So it looks like the next one, where familiars dare, is going to be unlocking the first dun the first trial. Sorry. So I think we'll actually leave it right there. So this is just the introduction. This is us unlocking everything. The next one is going to be our first fight in Pandemonium, I guarantee it. So I think that's going to be it for right now. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope that you're going to be looking forward to what comes next. I know I am. So until next time, everyone, take care.